welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another dishwasher video. Yes, another dishwasher video because apparently the people have spoken and you guys love dishwasher videos or at least that is what YouTube is telling me. So here we go with another dishwasher video. Today I'm going to be taking you through my Whirlpool dishwasher cycle guide. I'm going to show you the different cycles available on your Whirlpool dishwasher, when you should use them, and about how long they run and how many gallons they each use so you can get maximum cleaning and efficiency out of your dishwasher. So definitely make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay you guys, like I said, I have a Whirlpool dishwasher. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit dirty. Um, I've got this heavy cycle. Wait, let me. Okay, I got the heavy cycle, normal, and one hour wash, heat dry temp, or heat dry, high temp, four hour delay, the start and cancel button. We've talked about this before. I actually show you how to drain your dishwasher. I will link that video down in the description box below and up in the cards up here if you want to check it out. Um, but today we're really going to be focusing on these, the heavy, normal, and one hour wash and those options. So I normally actually use the one hour wash. The other ones seem to take a really long time, but I was wondering how much water am I actually using and am I getting prime uh, like clean cleanliness over here. So you see how it lights up when you select it so you can go through the different ones. So heat dry does not come on automatically on the one hour wash. See how it turns off there? You can end up turning it on if you would like to, you can see. Um, but the one hour, the one hour wash, the one hour wash, this is for fast results. It cleans dishes using more water and energy. You can select the heat dry option to provide the best drying performance. In my experience, it's still a very subpar drying performance. Um, it is good for all soiled levels and it takes about 60 minutes, I think 65 with the heat dry to complete. And it uses in gallons, 5.8 gallons or 21.9 liters of water. Now the second option that we can choose here, focus again, um, we could also use the normal cycle which comes with heat dry or high temp. Oh, you can choose both. So if you hit it three times, you can choose heat dry and high temp. And so for that one, it talks about the cycle with only the heat dry option selected and without other options is recommended to completely wash and dry a full load of normally soiled dishes. The energy usage label is based on the cycle and option combination. So for a light to medium wash, it takes about 120 minutes and about 150 minutes for a heavy load. And it uses, let's see, that doesn't sound right. Three gallons of water or 7.5 gallons of water for, um, for a heavy load. Hmm, interesting. Alrighty then. And then, so it looks like they're saying normal wash with the heat dry activated. That is supposed to be the optimal Whirlpool setting right there. Now, I don't know, it seems like mine always takes a lot longer than 120, so maybe I have a heavy load. So if I put normal, I feel like it takes close to that um, 150 minutes. That's a long time for this thing to be going, but Maybe I should try that out since I'm not having great luck on the one hour wash. Now, the last one we have is the heavy one. It says, use this for hard to clean, heavily soiled pots, pans, casserole, and tableware. All soil levels, typical 150 minutes, max to 10. And see, look right here, water usage in gallons, 7.5. See, this one was really 3.0. How odd is that? Okay, so this is the different, um, cycles that are available to be used for the Whirlpool dishwasher. I hope you found this video super helpful and learned something new. I am always learning new things around my house and I love to share them with you guys. Again, if you are new to my channel and love how to videos, smash that subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment so I know you enjoyed this video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye guys.